college football. Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Nittany Lions will kick it away first. That one bounds through the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. The Nittany Lions offense takes the field to start this game off. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You... done it at such a high level everyone believes in this young man and Palmer there's a reason why you're right David he's been in the big moments and he's won the big games this guy delivers when the game is on the line knew where he wanted to go with it but couldn't find his target it's incomplete really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this, because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. Catch in the middle, it's Brown. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. The Nittany Lions decide to punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Gets the first one of the day out of there. He ought to be fresh. They only used him twice in that victory last week. So Illinois' offense will go to work for the first time today. As dynamic as this guy is on the outside, Jesse, you know he's... First snap of this drive comes from the 32. He leaves it with the back. Smacks it with the stiff arm. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll do it himself. Just ran over it. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. That's what's so great about these QB runs. They just chip away at the defense. And as this game goes on, these little QB runs, they're going to help keep third downs manageable for this offense. They'll go with a direct snap. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. And just a great job by the defense being stout. Right, that's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's 101. Stop the run first. Caught over the middle. It's Renfro. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. An impressive run from the back. Gets him six points, good drink of water, and maybe a little oxygen. <laughs> he definitely needs some oxygen after that long run, but... It The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. This could be a real turning point in the game. 
They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stopped. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now. Right, how about this uh, offense? You, you think of this offense, you think of throwing the football and top ten passing in all of college football, but the defense knew something, right? Like, you could tell they were going to come out and run the football. They brought out the goal line, brought in some big boys, and really was ready for the run on that play. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Penn State! This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top-10 offense. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop, Jesse. And they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of Three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Caught in the backfield, it's Wallace. Plows through the defense. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there. Still a little ground cover to pick up the first. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. First down here for the offense. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. We make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Now adjusting. Didn't have anything working and just had to... Looking for a productive play on first down. The running back has it. 
He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Don't you love energetic defenses that can fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense. Great the tackle for a loss on first down. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Third down conversions, always a huge stand. They've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the catch. It's Renfro. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. And the Nittany Lions will call on their punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Doesn't it always seem like that ball is on the ground for like 30 seconds? You got 17 guys running at it, slow motion, like, I gotta get the football offense. Very lucky to get that football back. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody in the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. And nobody able to handle that punt. They'll let it back. Ready, Penn set. State sends the offense back onto the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing. Fires and picked off. Trying to take it back. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. They'll come out and take a knee, and that should send us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, you've been taking in a magnificent scene there today in Champaign. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. Thanks for that halftime report, Kevin. The Nittany Lions will kick it away to start the second half. And he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get... The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Off play action on first down. Let's it fly. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Wallace. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. The give to the back. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. 
And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Renfro. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. The Nittany Lions will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. They're going to go for two here and try to extend that lead to a field goal. Get set, get set. They want to throw it. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. Well, that's the right call to go for two right there because the analytics say if you get it, you now make it a three. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. That ball skips through the end zone. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 25-yard line. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Third inches, everybody knows what's coming, but it's so dang hard to stop. And you better get penetration with that defensive line. They didn't do a good enough job. Running back falls forward and does his job. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Trying play action. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. This coaching staff has really done a nice job marrying the play-action game to their running game. That looked like that was going to be a run. Everything in that play said they're running the ball downhill at the last second quarterback. He lets it fly. Hits him in stride at the tap. Touchdown, Penn State. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Sometimes it's players, not plays, or sometimes it's both. And when you got that guy and you put him in the slot and you let him burn for a go route right past a nickel corner or one of the reserve corners or a safety, that's a great job by the offense. And that. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. He's looking for a man on second down. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Trying to pick up a first down. They're going to go to the air on third and short. This time it's complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. The Nittany Lions have it with a first and ten. Let's go. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Quarterback strolling away from Heat. Catch in the middle. It's Reynolds. Makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. Give him ten yards and enough for the first down. 
The Nittany Lions are moving quickly down the field. Movement here from the tight end. Leaves it with the back. Able to move it ahead a couple of yards. He gets it down to the 20. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the catch. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. On the run, it's Wallace. Jukes his way for more. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. He now has 91 yards rushing, and that should be no surprise. He's been among the nation's elite all season. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they had hoped for now, first and 10 from the 40. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Caught in the backfield, it's Wallace. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. Line getting set on second down. From the gun, they'll try the middle. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. That's caught. It's Smith. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative. Or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all over the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. All the way down to the 25-yard line, it's first and 10. Used the play fake, now to throw. Fires on the move. Got his man downfield. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. That score will give them a little more room to operate here in the fourth quarter as they go for their sixth straight win. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer is a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out. Everybody right. What a job to lay out and make the catch. You know, this sophomore has a big arm, and there were some revolutions on that one. Quarterback checking off. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Fires to the tight end. 
And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. The play action fake. Trying to get to him. Takes a hit as he fires. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football and now they face third down. Trying to pick up a first down. On the ground trying to pull the plug on this clock. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. And the Nittany Lions send out the punt unit. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. He'll settle for some pretty... Ready. Opening play of this drive will come from their own 23. Check, check. Give to the single back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. Seven is the lucky and skilled number for this squad as they've made it to this point in the season and they are still perfect. Still perfect and they're cooking. You can tell they got some momentum. You know, seven weeks obviously, that does, that's not the whole season. You got bigger fish to fry down the road. Great start, but you can tell this team's for real, for real. No doubt, and they deserve for us all to be talking about them right now because they look as advertised. This is a team with tremendous talent. They've taken care of business up to this point, but now because they're undefeated at this point of the year, Every game from this point out gets bigger and bigger and more important. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another recent...